Hi, I'm Leah Fetterhoff, a user experience designer, writer, and life strategist. I want to inspire you to thrive in work and life. So today I'm going to talk about a practice that I've started doing with my kids uh, probably a year or two now. Now that they can talk, they have their own thoughts, there are little people who are developing on their own. And what I do is ask them before they go to sleep, what are three things you're grateful for today? Now this is something that I've gone back and forth with trying to figure out how to encourage them to be more mindful throughout their day, uh, to be present and also have an opportunity to reflect. And right now, we used to go to church, and it's one of those things where we're still trying to find the right one. I am a big believer of instilling some type of faith or belief in a higher power. And because we haven't been able to do that yet, you know, by going to some some place like church, another way that I've, you know, started to try and cultivate more meaning, I guess, into a day is this gratefulness practice. And I've tried mindfulness meditation with them, uh, trying breathing, and while they do it sometimes, or if it's guided, it's not something I've observed them doing on their own for any time. But after we do the routine of getting them to bed, so they go and brush their teeth, put on their pajamas, we read a book, uh, before I say goodnight to them, I'll ask them, and I've shortened it now to saying, what are the, what are three things? Or tell me your three things. And they generally know what that means. And I prompt them sometimes and I remind them of what we've done during the day. And I also remind them that it doesn't have to be something you do. It doesn't have to be something big. It could just be going to school and hanging out with your friends. And a lot of the times, and I don't prompt for this, is they say mom. <laughs> so that makes me happy and I don't know how long that will last. But what I am hoping for is to start planting those seeds, right? Not only for them reflecting back on their day, understanding what brought them joy and meaning, but also to cultivate this practice as they get older of sharing things with me, of talking to me. and. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I can do a video five years from now. And that's the theme for this month for November is gratitude. And we're all thinking about Thanksgiving, about starting to be more with our families during the holidays that are coming up, the end of the year. So I encourage you today to think about what are those three things that you're grateful for today and is it a practice that you can start to cultivate for yourself, whether that's through a gratitude journal or just the last thing you think about before you go to bed? If you enjoyed this, leave a comment below and let me know what your three things are for today. Also, if you're looking for more resources to thrive and work in life, check out swishy.com and also sign up for my newsletter. And I haven't been emailing too much lately, but I'm hoping to pick that up a little bit more in the next year, and I'd love to hear from you. What topics are of interest to you? What do you want me to talk more about, write more about, or who do you want me to interview in my podcasts? Uh, this is a great time since I'm starting to plan for next year's content. Thanks for watching and see you on Swishy. If you enjoyed this, subscribe and share with friends.